Sir John Herschel was the scientific superstar of the 19th century. Herschel is the man who could have invented photography if he'd been bothered to. He's the one that Talbot goes to to find out how to fix his images permanently. And as Herschel is dabbling, he invents the cyanotype as well. Sir John Herschel was an astronomer and scientist uh, working around the same time as Talbot in England. Once he heard about the invention of photography, he decided to figure it out for himself and he came up with a cyanotype process. Herschel invented the process after Daguerre had already announced his own process, after Talbot had announced his process. Cyanotype is a very interesting process. It's a non-silver process. Most of the photographic processes used throughout the 19th and 20th century are silver-based. Herschel comes up with a process that produces a permanent blue and white image based on the salts of iron. And while there are many variants of the process, essentially it's, it's two chemicals. You take a potassium ferrocyanide and ferric ammonium citrate, and when you combine these two chemicals, you produce uh, a compound that if you brush this on paper, and allow it to dry, you put them in contact with your negative, place them in the sun, it will turn color when it's exposed to light. And so it's kind of a latent image process. There's, there are elements of printing out because you actually see a printed out image on the paper, but it, it really comes to life when you put the paper into just plain old water. It turns bright blue. It doesn't get much use in the 1840s, with the exception of maybe botanicals. It was utilized very early on by a British woman who was the daughter of a friend of Herschel's named Anna Atkins. She was doing a record of botanicals that were placed on this paper as a way of, of keeping a record without having to draw. She then published several series of books of botanical specimens, and those are really the first photographically illustrated publications. It gives you this really rich blue, intense color. I think it sort of takes it out of the vernacular, it takes it out of everyday life and makes, it, it makes us look at it a little bit differently. Cyanotype is, is invented by Herschel in the very beginning of photography, but really doesn't see any use until the end of the 19th century. It started being used in engineering applications. It became what we now know as the blueprint. The blueprint really found its way all the way into the 21st century. The other way of using the cyanotype process was to make very cheap photographs from gelatin silver negatives. It was utilized by many photographers to do test prints or contact sheets as a proofing material. The most common cyanotype you'll find are the, the images that are made by college students in the 1880s, 1890s. So most of the, the cyanotypes we see in collections tend to be done by amateurs. 